Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most destructive worms weapons. For this list, we're looking at the most explosive, chaotic, and tumultuous weapons featured in the Worms games. Which of these weapons made you grin like a crazy person? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Bovine Blitz Cows. Long have they been used for catapult ammunition and alien probing experiments. And thanks to the worms, they're also being utilized in airstrikes. Should you get your hands on a bovine blitz, you'll be able to call in a plane and rain explosive cows upon your foes. However, the user will have to keep the wind speed in mind as it can easily alter the trajectory of the cows. The airtime may be brief, but if the wind is strong enough, you can easily miss your target. Number 9. Kamikaze Because nothing is more spiteful than sacrificing a worm to inflict damage. The Kamikaze turns your worm into a sacrificial explosive, sending them charging in your set direction and damaging anything in its path before exploding. Admittedly, it is more destructive to the user as it inflicts up to 30 damage but sets the user back one whole unit. The best time to use it is if your opponents have units lined up. Otherwise, this is nothing more than a tool to show just how salty you really are. Number 8. Super Banana Bomb The Banana Bomb is one of the most lethal grenades across the Worms franchise on account of it being a more powerful cluster grenade. However, what if there was a cluster grenade that spawned cluster grenades? Well, that's where the Super Banana Bomb comes in. The Super Banana Bomb is like a brief popcorn factory spawning explosive bananas upon detonation that explode into more bananas. Not only is it a great way to pepper your enemies and turn the stage into Swiss cheese, but it's also an excellent source of potassium. Number 7. Fatkin Strike The name makes this weapon sound like a slab of meat dishing out boxing moves, but this could not be further from the truth. When a player activates the Fatkin Strike, a morbidly obese man falls out of a helicopter and bounces onto the battlefield. With each bounce, the Fatkins triggers an explosion, leaving a massive crater in the ground, and it does so in an unpredictable manner. How long will the explosions continue? Where will his bounces take him? Who can say, but we hope he gets home safely. Number 6. Holy Hand Grenade We know exactly what you're thinking. Yes, this is the same Holy Hand Grenade used by King Arthur and his knights. Well, at least they did according to Monty Python. Luckily, you don't need a couple of monks reminding you how to use it. Simply throw it, enjoy a holy cheer, and watch your foes launch to the heavens. Because of this weapon's legacy and lethality, it has become an iconic object for both Monty Python and the Worms franchise. The only way they could have made this better is if they turned that rabbit into a weapon as well. Number 5. Prod Fatality. Not all weapons cause physical destruction. Others can cause emotional or psychological damage, such as the antagonizing prod. This tool is nothing more than a finger you use to gently push your victims off of cliffs. Poke them into a mine, some fire, or even shove them off the edge of the stage, sending them to a watery death. Needless to say, the prod should be used with extreme caution, as it wields the potential to destroy friendships. Hey, you'd be steamed too if one of your worms died because of a simple poke. Number 4. Nuclear Bomb It's been known under a handful of names, the Indian nuclear test, the flood, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll refer to it as the nuclear bomb. This penultimate weapon of mass destruction has functioned in different ways across the Worms series since its introduction in Worms the Director's Cut. Some games treat it as a standard nuke, whereas others have wrought havoc by causing a massive flood or even poisoning every worm on the battlefield, or even both. What better way to show off your spite and pettiness than by drowning everybody's worms?
Number three, Buffalo of Lies. It may be called Buffalo of Lies, but its destruction is most certainly real. Once released from your grasp, these chaotic cattle explode in front of whatever they charge into. Enemy worms, crates, petroleum barrels, terrain, nothing can stop the Buffalo of Lies. Thankfully, its devastation doesn't last forever, as it's only capable of charging into things six times. Even so, the carnage feels like it lasts an eternity. And if you aren't careful, it could cause one of your own worms to be eliminated. So unleash the buffalo with extreme caution. Number two, Concrete Donkey. Incoming! Unlike the Buffalo of Lies, the Concrete Donkey is a bit more predictable while being just as destructive. When deployed, a massive donkey statue drops from the sky and destroys everything in its way. However, slopes can alter its path and send it off the battlefield or closer to one of your worms. Keep in mind that the Concrete Donkey will expire after a certain period of time, but more often than not, it'll hit the water before reaching its limit. Just make sure you're far away from where you're deploying it. Before we reveal the deadliest, most destructive top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mega Mine, the mine's louder big brother. Mike's Carpet Bomb. Okay, Team 17, we see what you did there. Dubstep Gun. Can't wreck havoc without the Saints. Priceless Ming Vase, probably the most expensive explosive you'll ever detonate. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Wormageddon It is the be-all end-all of a worm's arsenal, the pinnacle of catastrophe, mayhem, and doom. It is Wormageddon. If you felt the regular Armageddon could use a few more meteors, this is the super weapon for you. Calling this in will trigger a massive storm of meteors, decimating most of the battlefield and most likely taking out more than half of everyone's worms. Very rarely may one see it in a game of Worms WMD, but if you ever get the chance to use it, do it for victory, for love, for honor. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.